it as uh, vibration meter and this is your vibration meter and uh, this is your cable that we need to connect you can see a port huh? you can see a port over here and legs over here we just need to plug it in and you have to tighten it that's all so you have to switch it on you can uh, measure the vibration it will uh, show the velocity of the wear of the motor which you are uh, going to check so this is have a magnetic base so this magnetic base you can uh, fit on the motor like uh, you can see here identifying your uh, motor vibration so this is your uh, vibration meter and you got uh, what is your uh, magnet the other is your point so this point is there uh, again you can uh, attach it and you can keep the probe for the motor which you want to do the Take the measurement of your uh, vibration for uh, any motor which you are going to take. So, this vibration meter will show you the velocity which is normally needed to show the vibration of a particular uh, motor. So, how you know the range? So, this vibration is okay, this vibration is not okay. How you uh, identify? For that, uh, you have to refer your manual. Manual. Here is a manual. It gives a class A, B, C, D. So suppose uh, if you are reading, it comes under A. That means the motor vibration is good. And if it is B, it is satisfactory. If it is C, you have to check. And if it is D, it is totally forward to use the on the motor, you have to see the reading, you have to compare with the charge given in your manual. So again, motor usually classified in four, 9.9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. So accordingly you have to select your value. So motor is classified in four different types. One motor is uh, like uh, the kilowatt, that it comes to be less than 15 kilowatt. The other will be 
So now I am going to check the vibration of uh, main engine axillary blower. As I said earlier, I connected the probe with the accelerometer, and uh, now I had connected it completely. I switched it on, and uh, now I can see the reading. So first, uh, let it come to zero. Yeah. Okay. So. Now I fix the magnet in driving end of the motor and now I take the reading, reading is showing 0 0.040 millimeter per second and again I take the probe and keep on the non driving end of the motor. So I take the reading for both the side of the motor so this I will decode it. So now I am going to take uh, the same uh, vibration measurement for a LT cooler pump which is vertically mounted motor and uh, as said earlier take reading on the driving end of the motor and uh, record it and take the reading for the non driving end of the motor. So whatever reading you get you have to regularly record it so that you can plot a graph which will be indicating if there is any failure which will be occurring in near future.